All right, so welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be playing through an all new horror game called Hotel Overloop. This game looks awesome uh, when it comes to the graphics. I haven't really seen anything on the actual gameplay. I just know that we have to go through a loop by going through the same elevator and we have to search for any, you know, strange changes uh and if we witness anything strange or something's different that's out of the ordinary then we just have to return back to the elevator to um keep from dying or something i don't know but let's go ahead and get started all right so here we are um we are in the elevator um Instructions we have if you see anomaly return to the elevator you came on if everything is as usual go to the next elevator The zero floor is always without anomalies If you meet someone dangerous immediately run to the elevator from which you came escape the loop on the eighth floor All right, so <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Obviously the first thing that we notice the first thing I noticed from the screenshots of this game is the carpet and it is the uh, Carpet from the shining if you have Been on this channel for a while. You should know by now that I am a huge shining fan uh, Hold on I'm trying not to get carried away and not get distracted from what's going on right now um i need to pay very very close attention to everything i feel like okay i feel like the tv is gonna play an important part maybe this table might have different items on it we'll see we'll see as we go uh i have a huge feeling there's gonna be different situations with this gentleman uh, <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah, uh, there was a past video I did where there's a little like uh, fan made game of The Shining. It was uh, it's a short game, but it's really good. So if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. And I'll leave it at the end of this video. Uh, it'll be the first video that you can choose if you want to watch that. But let's go ahead and continue on with uh, Hotel Overloop for now. And it looks like we can't interact with this guy. He's just kind of just standing here. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Sil Wait, style your home. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, these paintings are pretty nice, but a little creepy. Not going to lie. I don't know if I'm supposed to check the doors or not, but I'm trying every one of them as we go. Maybe there will be something weird with that. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Well, oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, the uh, floor zero will always have no anomalies on it. So. Let's, uh, let's see what we got on the first floor. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to expect of this game. I love the way it looks and I love the, uh, the style of the game. Okay, he's dancing. And so I'm going to turn back. I find that strange, so we're going to turn back. Okay. Maybe they're giving us a little, you know, taste of what to look for. Just throwing us a bone, if you if you will. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, no, this game looks really good. It feels really good, really smooth. Um, and it's it literally released... On the 23rd of this month, so it's pretty, pretty uh, brand spanking new. Um, I can't remember if that audio, though, 
audio was playing or not. We'll go with it. We're just going to go with it. I'm not even going to check the doors anymore. I have a feeling if uh, a door can be opened, it will... Uh, it will open for us or something will happen. But as of right now, until one opens on its own, I'm not gonna try and open them anymore. All right, we made it to the second floor. Oh, third floor. Wow, what am I, what am I thinking? Oh. Something feels weird. Something feels strange. I just don't know what it is. That mug wasn't there before. Fuck it. We're just going to go for it. Because, you know, I, I, I really want to see some weird shit. I'm not going to lie. I want to actually be chased or be scared, you know? Cause I feel like if you go through this whole game and you see something strange and then you turn back and go to the elevator like you're supposed to, it's like, will you? I made the wrong choice. So we are back on the second floor. So I chose wrong, okay. Oh, I don't know, this is weird. This is really weird. I feel like I'm getting a f the feel for it though. I just, I don't know if I need to pay attention to the objects. Like, like I said, the, um, on the first, no, on the, on floor zero, when you uh, when you start for the very first time, I don't remember there being a red coffee mug on the counter. So I don't know if that's considered like something like strange enough for us to have to go back. Okay, so that that answers my question. So the coffee mug is fine where it's at. Um. Now, another thing I'm questioning that I'm not sure about is how he is, like, literally, like, looking from, like, side to side. I don't remember him doing that. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna go back and see what, see what happens. See if it's the right call. If it takes us back to the second floor, then we know that I made the wrong choice. If it takes us to the first, uh, the fourth floor, then the uh, him looking back and forth is obviously a sign. Okay, yeah, all right. I made a right choice on that. Okay, he's standing still, looking straight ahead. Well, he was <laughs> until I said something. So maybe that didn't even have anything to do with it. Maybe I just. I just heard something. Fuck it, we're gonna go. We're just gonna go. I wanna see some crazy shit, I really do. <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna take us back to the uh, third floor though. <sighs> I'm not going to lie to you, like, this, I mean, it has a slow build up as you are playing through the game. Like it's kinda, you're just like, wow, this looks cool. And things slowly start to get weird. And then you start feeling like, a, hold on, damn it, we're back on the third floor. Okay, I made the wrong call on that. We're gonna go back. 
No. No, we're not. Let's just keep going. But you start um, slowly getting uncomfortable. That's what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling really uncomfortable. And I feel a bit on edge because you're really just waiting for something to happen already and you just you don't know when something's gonna happen so you're trying to keep your guard up but it's really hard okay so we made the right call on that one as well okay I need to focus I really need to focus Um, and I probably should pay, pay close attention to the, uh, to the paintings as well, because there could be something showing up weird in the, uh, the paintings. I feel like that would be a big one. I'm not really, I wasn't really paying close attention to that one. I really should. All right, hopefully we will make it to the fifth floor. Fingers crossed. Maybe. Oh my God. I don't think we're ever gonna make it to the fifth floor. Oh, oh. All right, let's try going back. Let's just try it. Maybe it'll take us back to the fourth floor. There was something about that atmosphere on that one that felt weird. Oh, it would help if I press the button. <laughs> Jesus. Did I press it? Oh, I did. Okay. That sounds different. I made the wrong call again. Jesus. Wait. I'm s I swear I'm seeing shit, people. Was this phone green the whole time? Was there even a phone there at all? I don't know what's happening. Like I s hold on. I gotta <laughs> I gotta remember to uh to check that out once we go to the next floor. Because we need to know these things. We need to know what to look for. Because I'm having trouble with that. I feel like, well, yeah, so I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning or at any point in this video. But this, uh, it's... Yeah, we're on the first floor now. So... Yeah, okay, that that wasn't green. I Yeah. Gotta remember the phone. But... In the description of the game, on the store page on Steam, it says there is a total of 50 anomalies that can occur in this game. Which is a crazy amount, right? Like, like you're starting to think now, like, what those could be, because you have... You don't really have that many... What the... Okay, I thought I saw something. I think we're okay. Hopefully we'll go back to the second floor. Jesus, this is uh This is kind of challenging, I'm not going to lie. We will make it through though. We will make it to the end. It will happen. Okay, all right, cool. Second floor. Okay. So the phone is still the same color. You know, I probably should pay attention to the clock as well. Uh, the TV uh, seems to be running as it usually is. The, oh, oh, yep, we're going back. Yep, <laughs> we are going back. Holy shit. Oh, man. Let's get the fuck 
out of here. Come on, come on. There we go. Jesus. You, you wouldn't think that a light bulb just blowing like that would be scary, but it was actually a lot scarier than usual because of the anticipation of like waiting for something to happen. Oh, Lord. Okay. Again, I don't know if there's anything to do with how he's like looking back and forth. That's one thing I'm really unclear on. Style your home. Okay, that says the same thing. That painting looks the same. That painting looks the same. I don't know if that drawer is always open. I'm assuming that painting looks the same. That's the same. All right, let's let's uh, let's give it a shot. Please, please take us back to the fourth floor. Please. I'm begging you. Oh my God. Shit, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so while we're here, I'm going to observe. Okay, so that drawer is still open. The painting looks the same. That looks the same. All right, let's try it again. I swear if it takes us to the first floor, I'm going to be super pissed. Oh my God, like we have to make it all the way to the eighth floor and then we have to make it uh, past. We have to make it past the eighth floor to uh, to actually somehow get out of the loop. You know, fuck it. We're going to try and go just we're going to go back. I probably just made a terrible mistake and sent myself back to the, uh, to floor zero. Oh, okay. All right. I made a good choice this time. Um, TV and clock is working the same. Style your home. Painting looks the same. That painting looks the same. Like, I'm not really seeing anything that's different other than how the fucking... Uh, the guy behind the front desk is, like, moving. That's the one I'm really unclear about because... Uh, okay, so I guess I d we, we don't have to worry about that. It, only if he's dancing. If he's dancing... Oh. The candles. There's only one lit. Hell yes. Okay. So that's another one we, we have to pay attention to. So we're back to the fourth floor. So far, we've only... The highest we've made it is the fifth floor. Okay. That painting is never there. So we let's go ahead and come out. So we got to pay attention to that as well. I don't think that painting is ever there unless there's two of them. I know there's one that's always in the hallway past the uh, front desk. But I believe that, yeah, that does. Yes, okay. I think that painting is always there. Right? Okay. Um, 
phone and cup is still there. Or mug, I should put. The clock looks like it's moving faster than normal. Doesn't it? I kind of want to go back because that the clock looks like it's moving faster. You know what? I feel like the only way to test it out is to, to go back and see what happens. Oh, there's books on the floor. That's not normal. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I have a feeling we need to go back. So books is another one. Books on the floor that have somehow flown or like was knocked off the shelf. So if... I'm right, then we made it to the sixth floor, which is the highest that we've gotten. Yes. So this is the highest that we've gotten so far. Okay, candles are lit. All of that looks normal. You're right, yeah, okay. Okay, I think that's normal. <laughs> oh my god, we are literally on the sixth floor. So I need to pay, like, I need to be really, really careful. Because I don't want to go down. We are two, oh, we are, uh, two away from being on the eighth floor. Which, saying that also reminds me that... This video is the halfway point to 100 videos on this channel, which is crazy, right? Like, I'm very, very excited about that. It's like hitting a milestone. And, um, yeah, 50 videos. I'm very stoked on that. Okay, I'm not seeing anything that looks different, so we're just going to go for it and hopefully... Hopefully, we will find ourselves on uh, the seventh floor. Fingers crossed on this as well. <laughs> All right, please, please tell me I chose right. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So candles are lit. Statues there. That looks... Looks okay. I feel like I need to start paying attention to the cards too. The ticking of the clock is different. Okay, I'm not... Oh! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Do you see that? Oh shit, oh shit, I'm stuck. Oh god, oh god. Oh my god. That was terrifying. Oh my god, that's terrifying. I d <laughs> oh shit. Okay, we made it to the eighth floor. We are almost out of here. Okay, candle, uh, candles are lit. Okay, all right. Audio is different. Audio is definitely different. So, oh, that radio is never there. I'm just going to go ahead and... Go to the end of the hall. You know, I want to see if there's anything crazy that's going to happen. Doesn't look like it. So let's make our way to the elevator and see what happens. I know 
uh, we're on the eighth floor, and this is supposed to break the loop. It's supposed to break the cycle. I, I don't know what is going to happen, but hopefully something cool will happen. Like if it just ends and it's like, oh, you win. That's kind of anticlimactic. Oh, so maybe we have to make it to the ninth, you know, past the eighth floor to the ninth floor. Okay. The audio still sounds weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is definitely, that's definitely off. <laughs> okay, all right. So we got that. Yeah, I don't know what's supposed to happen though. Like, I don't know. That sounds a little different. That definitely sounds different. Wait, so like, I don't understand, like, Maybe we have to wait. Okay, maybe we actually have to wait for the floor that, yeah, like I said before, I'm totally losing it. Um, instead of going back to the same elevator, we have to make it to the next one. Actually, this one down at the end of the hall and to get, to get out of the loop. Okay, so this looks fine. Right, okay. That looks fine. Flowers look fine. Okay, let's, uh, fingers crossed. Let's hope this works. Oh, we did it, okay. The end of the loop is just the beginning of a new journey. Thank you for playing. All right, I will say that, it, yeah, it definitely was anticlimactic on the ending. I was kind of hoping for something more than than that. So you found 10 of 51. So there's a total of 51 anomalies. Do you want to continue to find the remaining anomalies? We will not continue. We're going to go ahead and end the game here, but I just want to give my overall thoughts of what I just played through. Um... So I love the visual, the visual aspect of everything. It looks really clean. It looks really good. The graphics are fantastic. Uh, I love the, the flooring. It reminds me of The Shining, which, yeah, I just, I love shit like that. Um, the weirdness of the game is fantastic. I give that a 10 out of 10. Uh, I just, I wish there was a lot more crazy shit going on more noises, more jump scares. Uh, like, so we really only had like the light bulb exploding. We had the dude with the ax come out of nowhere, which was cool, but I just really wanted to see more of that stuff, more crazy shit. Uh, but it looks like we do have more to look forward to with this game. It, it sounds like they're going to create more with it. So I hope they do. And if they do, I can't wait to see what they come up with next. But overall, I mean, I did enjoy playing through this game. It was a lot of fun and it was cool. It was a nice, cool, casual, like experience, you know, just something to chill and just like go through. It's a walking simulator game. So, I mean, that's, that's basically what you get. Um, but yeah, I loved this game. I thought it was really cool. There was, like I said, there was a little bit of a downside, but still overall, I enjoyed it. Um, but that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. It would definitely help out my channel and I would really appreciate it. And, um, consider subscribing for more content to come in the future. And I hope to see you all next time.